Sydney from Sid Plants It Out. Welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. Today I'm going to be planning in my classic horizontal and we're just going to ignore the fact that I haven't been planning in this and that I may or may not have gone back and planned all the two weeks that I was planning not in this planner. I think I really just, I was bored, you guys. I was bored. I was feeling uninspired. And my way to inspire myself was to buy more things that I didn't need and that I knew I didn't need. And I slightly regret it. Not 100% regret it. I think that in the future, like, you know, if we ever go back into the office or something like that, I think it'll be a great, like, on-the-go planner. But... Yeah, we're just going to move past that. Okay, so for this week, my sister's getting married this week. And also, fun fact, I already recorded this video once, but in, like, the other planner. And then realized that I didn't want to use that other planner anymore. So it's fine. But... <laughs> My sister's getting married this week, and I'm going to use these Realistic Florals Volume 2 by Calvo Plan, and I want to use these. Look at how freaking beautiful these are. Like, do these not scream wedding? I don't know. These just really are screaming wedding at me, and they're so pretty. I also like the ones on the peach background. Maybe I'll use those. And then we have, you know, all the boxes in the whole entire universe, which is great because I'm going to have so many things to do this week because I've been without a car since like April 3rd. And it's currently, um, well, currently it's the day before you, before this goes up. So it's currently, um, Friday, April 15th and yeah. <laughs> I haven't had a car for like two weeks. I'm finally going to get, I feel like this is kind of dark. Oh, nope. It was on the right one. Okay. Sorry for the spazzing of the lights. Um, but tomorrow I'm finally going to have the opportunity to go and I think I'm going to wipe this out because I think I'm going to put florals here. Um, I'll finally have the opportunity to go and get a car, which... I'm really not excited to have to buy a car, but also like I need to buy a car because I'm, well, there's a couple reasons. One, because they can't, and I feel like I already talked about this, so I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself, but it's like the one thing in my brain right now. So yeah. Okay. Do I want to use the paper ones or the clear ones? I like them both so much. I think I'm gonna go with the paper ones this week. I think that'll be fun. Let's let's do it. Okay. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, buying cars like the one thing in my brain because I live alone. So I really haven't been able to like leave my apartment. Like I could in theory, the car does drive 30 miles per hour, but oh man, I don't like that. Oh well, but um, the speed limit around me is pretty much 45 everywhere. So if I'm only going 30, I feel like the odds of getting hit are very high. But also, I'm just going to, I didn't want to just get a new car, but I kind of need to because this car, oh, this is flat on both sides. I did not, um, I was not prepared for that. Okay, I'm going to round this side so that... I can put it, I wanted to put it in the middle, but I think this side is easier to round than this side would be. So I'm going to round this one. Actually, I guess that was really all I needed to do. I don't really need to round the bottom, but, um, yeah, I didn't really need to do that, but whatever. Um, new car. Oh, I'm going to just buy a new car because the fix for my car is a new clutch in my automatic car. Yes, a clutch because the way that Ford designed these engines, it's like a mix between a manual with a clutch and an automatic without a clutch. And it's stupid and I hate it, and it's a big problem, and Ford knows it's a big problem. So when I actually, you know, so if I like, 
if they weren't booked out for four to six months and I didn't live alone, I would just probably go get it fixed. But they do not have anyone to even look at my car. Even just look at it for four to six months. That's not even like for them to fix it. That's for them to just look at it. And your girl is not waiting four to six months. And be, like, I can't not have a car for four to six months. That's absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, not a thing. So I have to get a new car. But also like I've already had the clutch replaced on that car twice and the transmission at least twice, maybe three times. And the transmission has been reset like three times. So I'm over it. Um, I'm ready to just move on from that car and, and just call it because it is not worth my money anymore. Like it is 1000% not worth. Okay. This one I'm going to have to round on this side because I don't want it to be in the exact same spot. Um, yeah, it's not worth my time anymore. Like I've never had to pay for getting the clutch, uh, replaced because you know, they did it one time when it was still under warranty and then they did it again and they did it for free because they had already fixed it once under warranty and it didn't fix it. So it's a whole thing. I'm really over it. I'm very, I'm very exhausted from this car and I'm ready to not have to deal with it anymore. Even though I really don't want to have a car payment anymore because that car is paid off. Um, but it's just, it's one of those things where it's either I waste a ton of money having to, pretty much having to Uber everywhere for the next four to six months. That was not straight. And I'm a little upset about it because I don't like that you can see back there, but I don't know if it's gonna come off. Um, yeah, so either I would have to spend a bunch of money to Uber everywhere for the next probably year, honestly, because if they're taking four to, like, if they don't have any openings to even get it looked at for four to six months, that means it's probably taking like six months to get them fixed. So ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> So yeah, that's where my life is at. So on Saturday, um, not, not the Saturday that this, that I'm playing of the week that I'm planning up Saturday, like the 16th. So like two days before this week starts, um, I'm going to have to go buy a new car. And I told my parents that I wanted them to go with me. And my dad was sad that I wanted that. He was like, Oh, really? Come on. But I'm not, I'm not adult enough. Like I might be 28 years old, but I'm not adult enough to go buy a car by myself. I'm sorry. That is, that is a lot of no from me. <laughs> like, uh, that's not going to happen. So like, I know what I want, but also I know how car dealers are and if there is anybody around here, you know, if anyone that's listening is a car salesman, I'm sorry, because I'm sure it's not every single car salesman, but car salesmen are notoriously awful and they take advantage of people and they're just, they're just not the best, especially being like a single woman going to look at a car like buy a car, I already know that that will just, they won't take me seriously. So I don't want to play that game. So if I at least like, honestly, even if I maybe just went with my mom, like maybe my dad doesn't need to come, but I just, I feel like I will not be taken as seriously, even though I'm like an adult, you know, does anybody else feel that way? I don't know how I feel about these two 
red things across from each other because they're very bold. But I wanted a double box here and I wanted this red color on this side. So in my head, this sounded logical, but now I'm not so sure about it. Also, this sticker is like really struggling on the paper here. I don't know. Also, am I in frame? <laughs> Jeez. I just realized, I was like, oh my God, so you cannot, there's, I don't think you're in frame. Oh, you guys. Also, I didn't look at my monthly. I know there's other things going on besides my sister's wedding, so I should probably mark them. Okay, oops. All right, Wednesday, Patreon Zoom for Plan with Elise. And you know what? We're just gonna straight up cover up Wednesday. And then we might go back and put new days of the week on here, but also I'm not really sure if I care that much, you know? I really like these. I think they're fun. But I also feel like they're hard to use in conjunction with the florals. Like, I feel like they need to be used by themselves, you know? Like, they're almost too much, unless they're by themselves. I don't know, maybe that's just me, but it's kind of how I feel about it. Something needs to go here. There's some sort of spoogie on my page and it's gonna drive me insane but I really don't know that there's something, oh, that's kind of cool. Well, it goes off the edge of the page. I don't really know what to put there because I'm gonna need to do's there, I guess, because I don't wanna put this box like right there. I don't know, maybe that's me being picky, but I really don't want the box like right there. I want it like here. So what if, we just do that. Sure. This is gonna be an interesting spread, you guys. This is what happens when I just like wing it. Completely, I am 1000% winging this. I literally, like I said, I already filmed this video once and then I was like, mm, I don't know if I want to use that planner, I don't know what I want to do with that spread. I don't know. And now here I am filming it again. So we're just going to let what happens happen at this point. And, uh, whatever we end up with is what we end up with. <laughs> I don't know. I'm thinking I should have gone with the, with the clear florals, but I don't know. These were just kind of calling to me. Okay. So we'll see, maybe that's a regret, but it's fine. It's fine. Let's put this box on Monday. This is gonna be where my checklist goes. So maybe I'll layer this onto here instead of just having it float in space. That might make more sense. Okay. Those were like the same color and they're like right on, but, but we're, just, we're just moving on. We're just gonna keep going. We're just gonna keep going. All right, Tuesday needs a box, or at least I would like a box on Tuesday. Um, I feel like there's a lot of green here and I don't really know that I like all of the green or that I really want all of the green. Also, these boxes drive me insane because they have such, like the borders on these are way thinner. Just these three in every single set, in every single book. The borders are super thin and then the rest of them are relatively thick and it drives me bonkers. I just don't understand. I just don't get it, you guys. Okay, I guess I'm gonna throw in a green. I wasn't planning on bringing in green, but I think we're just going to. Okay. I'm not really a fan of those. I feel like they need to overlap. Hmm, that actually came up decently. It ripped it a little bit, but not too bad, not too shabby. Yes, I could have picked up the green one that I just put down, but I kind of wanted the yellow one on top. Okay, um, 
I don't know that I really need a box on Sunday because it's gonna be like the day after the wedding, but I guess I'll put one. And I guess I should get that green, same green color. Oh, which only comes in like a small one. I mean, that's fine. Or this one. So I guess we'll just go with this. And... Uh, let's just put it there. It's a little odd, but we're just going to go with it. It's kind of uh, my thought process on this spread at this moment. Okay. Let's see. I kind of want habit trackers. So let's pull out a rainbow basics. Maybe if I can find one. We have two of them. So there we go. Okay, let's use this. Um, which color? I don't have this color over here, but I don't think that color is in this book. Ooh, that yellowish color is though. So we might go with that one. Wow, that one's bright. Yeah, this one's a little too orange. Something I never thought I'd say, but this one's pretty good. I... I don't hate these, but they're not my favorite. They feel a little extra, you know? So what I think I'm going to do, because I know that this is a weekly habit tracker. Why do I need it to say that? I don't. So I'm going to cut that part off. Also, these stickers are like, massive like they have a lot of white space around them they're just kind of a lot so the fact that they also have that on there is a lot this is more orange whatever it's gonna work <laughs> it matches well enough okay part of me oh Never mind. I was like, I'm just gonna flip them over and write on the line, but that won't work. <laughs> I tried. Oh goodness. Like I know that these are habit trackers. So why did I need it to say weekly habit tracker? I really didn't. I really didn't. Okay. Um, let's grab black quotes and throw some quotes in because I feel like that will help me like this better. Spring quotes. Hmm. Girl power because, you know, my sister's getting married. Maybe just like positivity quotes. I kind of like positivity quotes because this is really what I need in my life right now. She believed she could, so she did. Oh no. This is my mindset going into buying a car. <laughs> I can sell this for what I think I can sell this for. And I'm going to. They're going to take it for what I tell them it's worth. Because, yeah. That's kind of where I'm at with it. I don't know. I just, <sighs> cars are not a great adventure in my opinion. And I feel like, I'm trying to decide, do I want this here or do I want it down here? Um, I feel like this whole car adventure is gonna be kind of awful. I think I need a bigger quote over here, maybe. Because I do feel like this is awkward space. Like, I feel like this is also awkward space, but it'll be easier to fill for some reason than this. I don't know. Maybe this one that says keep moving forward. I feel like that's a good Thursday quote. Keep going. The week's almost over. You got this. And I'm off on Friday. 
because my sister's getting married on Saturday, but I'm off on Friday. So <laughs> I just got to make it through Thursday, you guys. Okay. Also, the dishwasher is going. I hope that it is not um, super... I almost said legible, but, but that's not what I want because I'm going for hearing. Um, I hope it's not super obnoxious. Um, let's see. Huh. Throw kindness around like confetti. I kind of like that one. Hmm. Let's see. I did not wake up to be mo mediocre, but for real. Hmm. Let's see. What? Ooh, always better together. Hey, that's a good quote for a wedding. I think, I think, I think. Where do I want it though? Do I want it here? I need to look at the whole thing, I think. Sometimes I feel like if you don't look at the whole spread, then when you are like trying to put the stickers, it's hard to figure out where they should go. Um, I think I want it here. And I will have an even amount of quotes, which is a little bit not my favorite because I like things in odd numbers, but I feel like it's balanced because they're all on different planes of the spread to an extent. I know that these two are kind of close, but I think it's pretty good. Um, do we want florals? Do we want grid? I feel like washi needs to go in this real bad. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. What about, um, I feel like I've used the grid and the polka dots a lot lately. So what else do I have? I feel like everything else is very, um, bold. Like it's kind of a lot. And I don't want to overpower the spread with washi. I just want to like throw a touch in. So maybe it's just going to have to be grid washi because I feel like Okay, I'm going to go with this grid washi. I know I've been using grid washi a lot lately but it's like really, really appealing to me lately. And I think it's because it's just so grounding to the spreads because I, I don't know, maybe it's just that I feel like everything has been a little bit random lately. I don't know. I've been feeling like everything is a little bit random. So I think that grid washi is a really good way to just like give everything a balance and a grounding point and just like a, you know, like calm it down, I guess, kind of thing. I just, it's just a good one. It's just simple. Um, but I really don't want to do four, but I feel like something needed to be up there. So let's just take, hmm, there's nowhere else to really put washi on this side. And I feel like if I put it on this side, it like matches that piece up there. Even more makes these boxes match, but I don't know. How do we feel about this? Okay. Okay. I think, I think we're good there. Now the last thing is, do I want to put in any, 
um, like bullet points right now. Like, do I want to use a dot marker and put in dots? Do I want to grab a mild liner and put in like, you know, places to write? Because I don't really know what this week is going to look like. I don't know. I think what I'm going to do from now on, and I think this is something I should have been doing before, is I'm not going to put any bullets or anything in because I kind of just want to let myself put things where they need to go kind of thing, you know, where it's like, this is how many things I have that I need to get done today. So this is how many bullets are going to go here. And then I can fill in the space as needed after that. I think that's kind of what I'm going to go with from now on. So yeah, I think I just needed a break, you know, not a break from planning because it's like the only way I make it through my life productively, but a break from like what I was doing to see if it was actually working. And it was because here I am back in this planner. So yeah. So I have these stickers from Planner Kate's and I could put in the days of the week. This is um, Jen Plans. Yeah, Jen Plans font. Let me just see how it looks. I need a Monday. And I bought these to use in my um, in my daily, and I have been using them, but also like, I just don't know about the daily. It's not that I don't like it. It's just that I feel like I either need a daily or a weekly. And I think I like the weekly better. The daily just is something that I want, but the weekly is like something that I need. So I think we're going to stick with the weekly. What if I put this one over here for Thursday? Okay, this is kind of fun. I love her handwriting. Oh my gosh. If my handwriting looked like this, I would die. Like it's perfection. Okay. I don't know that the number is going to fit next to this. So I'm just going to cover that up. Okay. And then Sunday. Oh, I had Saturday, Sunday right there. Oh, well, Okay, now let's grab my numbers. I was like, what day am I starting on? <laughs> These are so cute. I know you guys probably uh, don't need to or want to watch me putting these down, but um, I appreciate you watching this video. Um, I appreciate you understanding my inability to pick a planner. I posted on my Instagram stories today that I was feeling very Julie Plans-esque with my inability to pick a planner, but you know what? It is what it is. And also, I got to spend hours today going through and creating spreads that I had, um, creating, like, back planning spreads, which was a blast. So, yeah, I thought it was fun, and uh, I'm glad that I did it. So, I'm back in my horizontal. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, I would really appreciate if you gave it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of my videos, you can hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys!